growth factor and growth rate for an exponential function. So we're going to figure out what each of those terms mean. So here's an example function. It's definitely growth because the base is over 1. So it's going to grow. So we set up a little chart here to see what's going on. When x is 0, y starts at 2, the initial value. And then at 1, you get one factor of 1.7 hitting on the 2 to get you the next value. Then when it's 2, you get two values, two of these 1.7s to hit on the original 2 to get to the new value. So every next value is 1.7 times the previous. So it really is going up by a factor of 1.7. So the growth factor is 1.7 and that's always the same as the base. Now let's talk about the rate. Let's see what's going on with that. Make another chart with a function. Here's 0. This time we're going to write it 2 times Instead of 1.7, I'm going to say it's 1 plus something, 0.7. So uh, for x equal 1, 2 times 1 plus 0.7 to the 1. But I want to show you that if you distribute the 2 in, that equals 2 plus 2 times 0.7. In other words, the next value here is... 0.7 times the previous added to the previous. That sounds like 70% growth. Or 0.7 times the previous added on this, the, the previous means you're growing at a rate of 0.7, which is 70%. Now let's see uh, the next step, which is uh, slightly more complicated. So when you have x equals 2, you have two factors of this, which is here's the first, here's the second. And if you just multiply the 2 in on the first one, you're going to have 2 plus 2 times 0.7. That is the previous value right here. The previous value. And the 1 plus 0.7 is copied down right here. So it's the previous value times 1 plus 0.7. When you distribute that onto the two numbers, you're going to get this times 1 is this, that's the previous, plus this previous times 0.7. So again, you're getting 0.7 of the previous added to the previous. That sounds like 0.7 growth rate, or 70% growth rate. So the growth rate is 70%. So when x increments by one unit, the next y value is 0.7 of the previous value added to the previous value. So the y value is growing by 0.7, or another way of saying that is 70%. So here's the recap. We have our original function. The growth factor is the number you multiply the previous value by to get the next y value as x increments one unit. The growth factor equals the base. So the 1.7 is the growth factor. It's always the base right in there. Okay, then when you write the function a different way, this way, you have a 1 here no matter what. Whatever ends up here, ends up here. The growth rate is the number you multiply the previous y value by to then add to the previous y value to get the next y value. The growth rate is also the growth factor minus 1. So when you have a 1 here, here's the growth factor. And if you subtract off the 1, you get the 0.7. So all you have to do to find out the growth rate is to take the factor and subtract the 1 away. No matter what the number is, subtract 1 away and the resulting number over here 
will be the growth rate. Uh, here's an example of that. Let's say you have this new function here. This function triples every time x increments 1. So the growth factor is the base, so the growth factor is 3. Every time to get to the next y value, you hit the previous y value by 3. So that's why it's the growth factor. The growth rate is a growth factor minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. That's 200%. So if you write the growth factor splitting off the 1, the resulting number always is the growth rate sitting right there. And that happens to be a 2 in this case. So that's 200%. So it's growing at a rate of 200%. And let's see if that makes the same thing as tripling. When y is growing by 200%, it means that the next y value is the previous plus 200% of the previous. Well, 200% is 2. So y plus 2y is 3y. So indeed, the values are tripling each time. So it all makes sense.